We are recording right now. Oh, we are? Oh, I was yes. busy making a hurricane. You were not. You're, you're not, not making... A, you're not... You don't live in my house. Yeah, but I'm not also not a weatherman. If there was a hurricane, I'd be hearing about it. But I'm not a no, damn weatherman! <laughs> you look like one. How could I be a weatherman? My algebra teacher looks like a weatherman. All math teachers look like weathermen. Possibly. Yes. That's one of the many things we'll be discussing, possibly, on this episode of Chatting Hour. Exactly. My name is... Um, the guy who plays the Nerf bird, and your name is, you've, um... You've said your terrifying, name is... Terrifying, um, dog man. And then, and then we're gonna talk about some things... Our topics are clothes, cameras, batteries, old video games, black holes, brains, and the insect apocalypse. I didn't add that one. It was, yes, uh, it, well, it's gonna be scattered through. It will <sighs> be. It will be. Fine. You and okay. your insect apocalypse. Sorry yes. about last week. Yes. With exactly. me being quieter than, a, than molasses dripping off a spoon <laughs> and peach tea going through a silly straw. Because... <laughs> I had a single window setting. I I had the soundboard, and I I changed some window settings that I shouldn't have, and that made me very, very quiet. You botched it up. I did. And yes, please excuse our the inconvenience about last week. We did not release one last week because of the fact of sound difficulties. So. Yeah. But if I ever get the damn chance to sit down and sit through an hour of just raising your volume, then I'm good at that. <laughs> then I can then I can do that. Then then that video will be released. Wow. Maybe. Should, we start, should we start with the topics, Jacob? The, the topics. What the hell is the topic? <laughs> the tropical lands where there's no water. But you said topics. Yeah. Yes, those are the tropics. It's made but of knives. All people have are mutton chops. That's called the tropics. It's like <laughs> that one island in Cloudy Chance of Meatballs too, but instead of vegetables, it's all it's all meat. <laughs> anyway, topic number one is clothes. What is your take on clothes? It's clothes. <laughs> Uh, what what can I say about clothes? Martinis. You you just had to randomly say an alcoholic drink during clothes. Yeah, I do it every podcast. You just got to find out which are, where every every timestamp where I say it is, and you get a free McDonald's toy. <laughs> How? No. You cave con quiet. No one would be able to get a free McDonald's. <laughs> you just said martini once. It's like, are you going to name various alcoholic beverages? <laughs> or something? Ladies and gentlemen, I have broken Jacob. We'll be back next week. Roll, oh. the, in roll the outro. <laughs> no, but, I mean... I've been watching a lot of um, videos on how to make cocktails for some reason. And alcoholic beverages and shit. You're good at that, aren't you? No. We haven't even gotten to talking about clothes once. No, was, now was, we're talking about alcohol now. We're talking about alcohol. You know what? <laughs> you want that to be one of the topics instead of clothes? Sure, because I don't know what to say about clothes. All right, let's do that then. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fine. Fine, folks. Guess what? We're talking about alcohol. Jacob, what is your take on alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> you say it first. I gotta calm down. <laughs> While Jacob takes a break, I'm going to 
set my stance on alcohol. It's horrible. It's like poison, and it's just not worth your time. Oh, God. It slows down progress in everything, and it it serves almost no purpose. I could not agree with you more. I thought you were going to say less, and I was going to be very worried. No, no, I hate alcohol. I hate the concept of it, and I, I think it's stupid. Okay, Mr. Cocktail. <clears throat> it Okay, it ain't my fault that I go on YouTube, and I just happen to have videos of, of bartenders making alcoholic beverages recommended to me. You know your recommendations are based on what you watch. I don't watch stuff with people making out, like, beverages. How do we know that? You don't. This isn't a podcast <laughs> anymore. This is Jacob and, and Garrison and take... G Garrison interrogates Jacob on martinis. So this is an intervention? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Jacob, this is an intervention in front of thousands of people. Possibly. How is this an intervention when I'm not a when I'm not like an alcoholic? It's an I, I get super the... uncomfortable around alcohol. Just looking at like I was like shit anyway. <laughs> I'm it saying it smells just, like, like septic system. <laughs> but I'm it saying like... it's like looking at like yeah. a bottle of beer, just like. Oh no, it just doesn't sit right with me for some reason. Oh, so you're alcoholophobic. I am not an alcoholophobic. I'm an alcohol uncomfortable. -ic. That was horrible. Yes, it was. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> don't say it's horrible, even though it is. <laughs> I beg you, please don't say it's horrible. Well, yeah, alcohol it ruins people. It does. It's horrible. Yes. It's right up there with cigarettes and vapes. And other drugs, too. Like, alcohol yep. is a drug, to be honest. It is. Here's the difference between guns and Alcohol and drugs. Alcohol and drugs you can't use to fend yourself with. Actually, it does the opposite. <laughs> it melts your brain. That's what I mean, I unless you count smashing the bottle on something and pointing it at someone as defending yourself. That that's not sm that's not smart. That's just stupid. That's yeah. a way to get yourself cut. Isn't that? Is that what we do here on Laugh Scream? We don't smash bottles. We, we smash don't. phone books. Oh my! Yes, you're gonna have to. Yes, bring up. No, the that's damn, a callback. Yes, bring up the damn phone book I s ripped up. <laughs> <laughs> Those are harder than it looks. It that's what she said. You had to. You had to. Yeah, I to. had to. I had to. That would never come up again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, our basis on alcohol. It sucks, it's stupid, and it's poison. Get people off of it and dump it all in the ocean. Yep. And, and right, the thing ready, is, on. hold on, I got something else to say. Alright. Animals can get intoxicated too. Yeah, I noticed every time a hornet comes into my room, like it did today for the second time, they it, fly around like they're drunk. They don't even bother <laughs> stinging you. They they landed they on my friend. I slapped his shoulder with the might of Zeus, <laughs> and it died without even hurting anybody. Y you know what my impression of a hornet is? What? In all reality, hornets and all other insects that are in that family... Act like they're on speed. They're on, they're on some type of drug. They're always on the move. They're always angry. They're always, like, buzzing around. It's like... Whoa, look at this. Look at this article from CNN. Climate change is frying the Norman, Northern Hemisphere with unprecedented heat. Hundreds dead. 
well, it's from CNN, so I don't believe it. A, <laughs> B, we live in the northern hemisphere, and um, I don't see the bees dying. <laughs> they, should, they should be the first ones to go. I mean, those are going to be the soldiers of the insect apocalypse. Oh, here we go again. Mutant, you guys, you, mutant hornet. Guys didn't see it last week, but Jacob went off about something called the insect apocalypse that he won't shut up about now. Because I can't. It's an important topic I have to discuss. You know why? Because that's the first wave of in, of mutant insects that the insect overlord will send out are... Hornets armed to the teeth with shit. That's what's gonna happen. Be foot soldiers, cause there's a billion of them. Jacob. What? I'm not even disappointed. I'm just impressed Imp that you've managed to drag out this joke. The viewers haven't even seen it. Yes. Be it's it's important. Insects are going to rot. They're going to get bigger. They're going to get more evolved. Then they will take over the world and maybe eat it to its core. We don't know. Insects are unpredictable, careless, and emotionless, and they don't give a shit about hu about life. Like, well, other forms of life. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Well, they only care about themselves. That's your standpoint. Well, really? I personally believe, before we move on to the next topic, um, Jacob, please, you know what? You do it. You brought, you brought up the insect apocalypse, so you do it. You, you go into the next topic. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> please don't! You, you'll say so when... Four, when ten foot tall hornets come barging through your door, coming to eat whatever is in your house. Yeah, I think not. Yeah, that will happen. That will happen. And you cannot stop it. They will grow. That's what will happen. Hmm. Well, how do we how do we link this up to our next topic? Cameras. Um, an insect, an insect's eye is like a camera. I, it's, Jacob, it's, are you going to government spy drone theory? No. Good. No. I'm. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. You sound so just bothered after you start just. Sh sh shooting shit about the, the insect apocalypse for the 15th time that I've heard. Oh. It's the insect apocalypse, okay? Zombies, unrealistic. Whole scene from, like, the Doom franchise, unrealistic. Like, but, insect apocalypse, yes. Let's just move on to cameras! Yeah, let's just go to cameras. There's no good way to transition. Um, yeah, let's just go to cameras. Let's see. We got okay. So before before I got my actual dedicated camera, I was using a webcam to record literally all of my videos, which I don't do much now. I more do editing, but but yeah, just using a webcam means you can't go outside. I had to use my tablet camera, which sucks. It's it's like a 480p cam, and the the one I use now is really nice, but I wish it was a little less. It's a GoPro. The sensor is really small. That's why your your sound just cut out for a little bit. That was that was me trying to think. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll believe you. Alright, what's your stance on cameras? I think they're pretty cool and an interesting piece of technology. Cameras are interesting. You know why? Because they take pictures. And 
Really? I didn't know that. Yes! <laughs> I just made it sound like you don't know what a camera is. <laughs> How about I do this in a world where everyone knows what a camera is? Um... <laughs> So, I think it's interesting how you can take something, like, a, as, like, like a camera, and just take a picture mm -hmm. of something, and it will, ha and it'll store, and it'll have that picture perfectly. I don't understand how that works. It's, it's capturing photons in the moment. I could do more about how it works right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I dare you. All right. On the old film cameras, what happened was the... Okay, so when you click the shutter button, the shutter closes extremely fast. Fast enough so the on the film there is left over a piece... Um, well, the last color the photon put on it, the... Um, like an actual ingrained thing. Your sound keeps cutting out. This is... And this is... You had to. Yeah, I did. You had to. Yeah. Why did you do that? Carbonated rind juice. You're blowing my eardrums out. That's the goal. It won't be. Anyway, cameras. Yes, they're cool. They do that. I'm thinking, why don't we've gone to from cameras from single images to many images over and over, which is also known as a video. Yes. Then we should go to bursts of images, also known as um, a video with a horrible frame rate. <laughs> It's the next step step in evolution. They, it's like it's not it's the like next step in fire. our evolution. It's the next step in cameras evolution, but except cameras yeah. going backwards. No, 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 it goes. Isn't this how it goes for ready to fire it, uh, with firearms? You have um, breech loading, semi auto, full uh, full auto, then three round burst because three round burst is faster than full auto. Huh. But still, I Do think Do you it's... actually believe me? No! Good. I don't! Why would I? Uh, you wouldn't, because you believe in the insect apocalypse. I do! And that don't. is a strong point I'm All right. making. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll join you on this. What What will cameras have to do with the insect apocalypse? Okay. You want to know what cameras will have to do with the insect apocalypse? It oh, will here we be. Go. Yes, here we go. Hope everyone is hyped up for this. Okay. What will happen is, we human, the insects, we have no need for cameras. Most of them, like wasps, can recognize faces, which is actually very terrifying if you think about it, because, like, they can recognize. Faces. So, in all Can reality, recognize the Reese's Puffs logo. <laughs> Can they? I'm I'm genuinely interested. Can they? No. I found a singular Reese's Puff on my on my desk, and that what that's what made me say that. No. <laughs> but I mean, think. But in all reality, cameras would be very good. I mean, since insects have no need for cameras, since they can memorize shit, it would be better for humans to have cameras because of the fact that we could take pictures of their eye location. That's what will happen. And then we can drop this, and then we can, like you say all the time, we can drop the sun on the bastards. You want a new, you want a new. I don't want a nuke. But I'm saying, if we had to get rid of a lot of insects that were 10 feet tall and very powerful, yes, we'd have to use a nuke. Are you sure we couldn't just use Raid? 
we can't use raid. You know why? Because insect would have upgraded themselves. What cameras that can trap raid canisters? No, no, no. They'd have armor in. They'd have armor that's immune to raid. Okay. Yes. Anyway, it's... moving on to our next topic: batteries. My, t my, s I know all kinds of batteries, and I um, I have different opinions on each one. Batteries. So, yeah, basically. Batteries. Um, lithium ion, a good balance, but I don't that's like leaving battery, them. That's a battery. That's a battery for a bomb, folks. Jacob. Hmm. Do you realize your laptop right now is running on a lithium-ion battery? You gotta be shitting me. No, it is. No. No joke. Jacob, the first thing I talk about, you call it a bomb, and I immediately know how to strike back. Anyway, people, as I was, I was saying, lithium-ion is a nice... Um, lithium-ion batteries are a nice compromise between capacity and charge rate but they do they're wear batteries. out after a while and sometimes they don't hold a charge which is annoying they're batteries um, lead acid are heavy as all hell but well they, i use them in my turret acid see that i use 12 volt ones they're huge they're like 10 pounds each I'm, i kid you not but their power density is really really nice they it's, got they got acid they got a lot of they have a lot of um, charge capacity. They got acid thing in is, them. Thing is, you need to use a car charger for them. Um, what else? A what Nickel metal car hydride Wait, batteries. what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What? What? Did you just say car charger? Yeah, I use a car charger for my, for my turret. Huh? Yeah. You didn't know that? It's How? lead acid. It's lead acid. They're huge. But you, you car a car charger is twelve volts. That battery is twelve volts. That's how we charge them. No, Jacob. How much elect about uh, voltage do you know? I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say I do know. All right. What is voltage? <sighs> well. Voltage is the amount of volts running through something. Yes. Yeah. What are right. amps? Amps? Yeah. You're going to have to say amps? Yeah. Why? Because amps are a different measure of electricity. Why don't you just go back to talking about your big fake batteries? Fine, although they're not fake. All right, next is nickel metal hydride batteries, which That's are kind of cool. That is a bomb. No, I use them each, in the Prometheus. Each each one of these batteries you're naming off keeps sounding like more and more and more of a gun or a dangerous chemical. Well, the the lead acid batteries I use in my turret, so yes, and it's yeah, lead acid is toxic, but yeah, it's in a plastic case, it's fine. And the nickel metal hydride batteries that one of those comes with the Prometheus, a Nerf gun. Sounds like a bomb. Well, thing is, guys, they're really low in power density, at least by my opinion. And they're annoying, they're heavy. Um, I, I generally dislike them, but they're kind of cool. The name is really cool, but yeah, that's yeah, about it. I like the name, it sounds like a bomb. What's next? What's another battery? Um, Double A batteries. Lithium polymer batteries, lipos, they are Lipo incredibly suck. used. Lipo incredibly suction. power dense. Um, lipo extremely suction. High... No, Jacob. It's lipo uh, suction. Lipo ha lipos have extremely high discharge rates, which is amazing. I love them. But they are very, very dangerous. A lot more dangerous than a normal battery. Um, but if you know how to use them right, you're safe and you've got a lot of power at your fingertips. Beautiful. Um, let's see. We got lithium polymer. Um, that's that's a that's most of the basic batteries. Um, that doesn't sound basic. 
You know what the basic batteries are? Double A's. Yeah, double A's. You got triple oh, yeah. A's. I forgot one. I forgot one. The alkaline batteries, also known as double A's, triple A's, all that stuff. Um, horrible. I hate them so much. Why would you want to... It's like a subscription fee. Why would you want to buy something over and over it, when, when you could why, just recharge it like a lipo? Why, that's, why most of the, that's why most batteries are... like You buy batteries and they, they cost like so much. And it's Which like are even more, and I don't like that. And it's like the fact that it's like, I mean, it's I mean, like normal like batteries. It's like you got them in like that, like they suck. They only like y you don't want to use what you're you have so much that you drain the batteries out, and then you have to go out and buy more. Then it's batteries are a vicious cycle. Hmm. At least alkalines are. Like, basic batteries. Like, like the ones... Alkalines. Like, 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 just the ones you buy in the store. And then once you thought you... And then once you get something, and you open it up, and the battery's dead, and you don't know what the battery is, then you can't find the battery, and the thing you have is just a piece of junk. Oh, what's um even worse, um a different well, one type of one kind of popular lithium ion battery yeah. is they use them in video doorbells, but they don't come with the video doorbells for whatever reason. Huh? And they're rechargeables. Yeah. That they doesn't even make any that doesn't make any they sense. They don't come the, you have a proprietary battery that doesn't come with it. Huh. That's that's odd. That that's, that scares me. <laughs> it's weird. If you think about All it. Right. Uh, do you have any thoughts? I've given all my thoughts on most battery types. You given your thoughts on all battery types by the sound of it. No. If you don't well, know the names, it's a little hard to follow. But... I'm Mr. Complicated, and here is Mr. Basic. Hey, I'm not basic. Don't you know? No. Say something complicated. D say something complicated? You want me to say something complicated? Yeah. Do you want me to say something complicated? Yeah. Otherwise, I will call you Mr. Basic. Hmm, Mr. Hmm... You're gonna have- I'm gonna take a rain check on that. It's not the fact that I don't know anything complicated. It's just the fact that I don't want to say anything. Go ahead, honey. I'll wait. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> No, take your time, sweetie. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to break character. That was a really good one. That was bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, moving on. You just you just killed me. Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. I stole a show with that one. God you, damn. You just destroyed me. <laughs> All right, <laughs> topic four: old video games. No, <laughs> we're moving on. You won't say anything about batteries, and I, I can't took your move brain on out. from that. Yeah, we can. We can, Jacob. No. 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 Jacob is dumbstruck by what I said. Yes. You know why? Because I'm freaked out. <laughs> I heard it on a live stream, and I thought I because a guy was stuttering, and his, that's what his friend said to him. <laughs> I say it here, and you just you, Jacob flips lid. <laughs> well, yes, because I didn't expect it. 
Well, you won't you won't say any anything complicated. So it was the perfect moment. Well, think about it. You got something complicated. You you know what's well, com say something complicated. I know it's complicated. <laughs> DVDs are complicated. If you want to say that. Yeah, they're all right. They're complicated. They're like new age records, except not new anymore. How do you even understand those? I do. I mean, it's how. How can you even read? Uh, how can the thing even read the DVD? Like the eye of the DVD. Excuse me, the eye of the DVD player. How does it like read? The DVD. So I mean, you have these. Um, you have a bunch of layers in the disc. That's why they're so thick. And the um. So what the layer sees is differences in the two layers at certain points when it's spinning really fast, and when it, it spins really fast, so it can access a lot of data at once. That doesn't make any sense, Jacob. If, computer if, boiled down to one and zero, but over and over, millions. But, of think about it. It's got to process the sound. It's got to process the it, the video itself. And yeah. how does ex how exactly does it process the sound on the DVD correctly? So. It can make it so we can hear it and understand it. And how does it take? I, I always thought DVDs were just like discs of like millions upon millions of little like like Books. squares. And it's like it. See, that's complicated. You can take back what you said. Yeah, I can. All right, thank you. We finally got an answer. Ha! Ha! You can take back what you said. All right, that kind of goes to part Apologize. four. Apologize. <laughs> no. Yes. Part four. Uh, topic four: old yes. video games. Yes. We're moving on. I cannot move on from that. Can we though? We have to. Fine. I guess right. if we have to, we have to. Old old video games. I went to your house once, and I see you have an original, uh, an original NES with the original Mario Brothers on it. Yes, I do. Damn, thing is fantastic. <laughs> it was really cool to see a piece of original hardware from the eighties. Like it. I mean, I also like you'll. Wait, I also have a. Uh, yes, Nintendo's, you have an N64. Yeah, 64. Like, uh, I have a Wii, which is now being considered. Um, it was my first first console, and it was it's now being considered vintage hardware, which is nice. How can the Wii be considered vintage hardware? Because it's around ten years old now. No, if it's if it's twenty years old, I mean, it should be considered like. Well, it's so out of date that it's cool. Huh. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, what are some old video games you like instead of us just talking about consoles we have? Um. Like old vi old I like um. Of course, the original three Mario Brothers, ex especially number three, because that game is just awesome in so many different ways. Very descriptive. Uh, what's an old game I like? Yalaga. On the arcade. Yeah. I played original Galaga. It was... It's all right. I mean, the the contr the controls are a little 
clunky, but I like it. It's been ported so many times too. I've I've never played Galaga, to be honest. You never played Galaga. You've at no. least played some kind of Space Invaders clone. Um. Ah, uh, shit. Welcome to Chatting Hour, where we wait around for Jacob to say something. Hold on, just just give me a second. Hold on. What your brain is? Your brain is a hard drive. Mine's an SSD. Hold, I'm g- get <laughs> Garrison. What? Can you give me? Can you give me fourteen seconds to think? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me get the stopwatch out. Okay. Um, all right. Mm. And go. Mm. Yes. I have played, like, I think I've played, like... Your time is up. I think I've... <laughs> <laughs> Your time is up. <laughs> I gave you a half more second. Go ahead. No, no, I'm telling you, I have played, like, I mean, not exactly Galaga, but, like, a ripoff. So. Mm. Yeah. I played a Tetris ripoff um, on one of those tiny arcade machines that says they have 200 games. and I used to and... have two of those. I, I used to have one of those, and it's just... Why? They take double A's. <laughs> I guess so. Wait. Anyway. I, used to have, I have a Game Boy, too. Oh, you do? Yeah. Holy crap, Jacob. You were the king of vintage hardware without even trying. <laughs> I like no, I, I, gotta... like, I like old I like the older stuff. I appreciate the novelty. Old... Yes. Anyway, I yeah, I have a in old I have one of those multi-game things that are like a scam, but this one's all right. The main game I played on it was this Tetris clone. That mm. instead of blocks, it had different sets of triangles, and it was infuriating to play. But at the same time, it was a lot harder than normal Tetris. I have Tetris on my Game Boy. Now that I think about it, how how's the visibility? No, it, well, it's not like an it's not like a Game Boy Game Boy. I mean, it's it's like a newer edition of the Game Boy, but it's like it's still old. What's but... an SP? I don't know, but the advance. It, I don't. I I don't know. I know it's a Game Boy, but are, are you sure it's not a Game Girl? Yes, I know the difference. And uh, yeah, putting that thing in the light is just is is, and in the dark is just awful. Rancid. You gotta have it in the right setting. Rancid. <laughs> I beat Spyro Fire and Ice on that. That was cool. It's probably an advanced SP then. I don't know. It's... Does it fold? No, it does not fold. It's Hold on. Oh, I'll I'll get my thing about like. On. Let me think. Oh, uh, think think about how big a modern phone is, right? Yeah. Okay. Think about how big a modern phone is. Mine's. I don't. Like. I don't know. Yes, you all know, Jacob. Mine's about the width of a uh, like. If you, if I put it sideways, mine's about the width of a. Uh, PS3 gaming controller. Oh, so it's a um, yeah, it's an advance. I mean, it ha- it's yeah, it, lo- it looks like a f- a little gaming controller. Does it's, it? it has, does it have shoulder buttons? It does have shoulder buttons on it. it yeah, that that's a Game Boy Advance. Okay, it's, it has like a little screen on it. It has 
Wait. Two buttons on the side. Got to check. Like, um, hold on, I'm just, and it's like, it, it's, it's difficult as hell because since mine is, like, old and basically, like, falling apart. I could repair it. No. <laughs> it's just the fact that the bat, it's like, there is no back to the batteries. Oh, you lost so, the cover. So it just has, like, this layer of tape over it. That's nice. <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. Yeah, we. I guess we've both given our stance on video old, game. Vigi, old video game. Old vintage video games. Yes, they are cool. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah. Um, for the time. Exactly. I mean, they're nice now, but I mean, sometimes it's like since they're so old, I mean, sometimes you run into problems with things. Just today, um, and yesterday and today, I'm going on a nostalgia trip with this old Wii game called uh, Transformers Cyber Cybertron Adventures. Yeah. Oh my god, is the gameplay like it's basic, but it's it's like stupid fun because <laughs> there's you have four weapons: the sniper rifle, the Gatling gun, um, the the blaster, and the and the missile launcher, which you can use to lock on. Yeah. And they all have their own purpose. And the gameplay loop is so fun and addicting. I love it. <laughs> but, my god, the graphics are horrible. They look like PlayStation 2 graphics. And the and the, the voice acting is horrible. It's blatantly, like, ugh, horrible. It The game's really overall not very good, but... I got nostalgia glasses and it's great. It's it's always fun when you have like a ride of like you want like this like nostalgia and you just like you just sit down and play an old game and it's like it gets it's addicting Hell even yeah. it's addicting. Yeah. I remember Cloudy with a chance to meatballs on we I've had that game for years, same with the Transformers one. <laughs> I one hundred percented it in two days after try after I remember it took me about a year to beat it for the first time when I was a little kid. Yeah. But it took me two days to 100% the entire thing. Like, I didn't even play for long. It's funny, because it's like everyone I know knows has a Wii. Like, for, like you have oh, a Wii. Oh, the Wii is a great console. It's like, it's a lot of people I know have the Wii. I, I've, like, you have a Wii, my girlfriend has a Wii. My grandparents either have or had a Wii. I don't remember. Well, but, the Wii did some weird things with motion controls, which was actually pioneering for the Nintendo Switch. But the, the, it's such a good family console. Um, I'd even recommend one today, even though the Wii Shop channel's shut down and everything. It has some nice games on it. <laughs> I played the Wii a couple times. I played, like... The, I There was a... Good assortment of games for the Wii. So, if you if you don't count shovelware, I never played that. No, no, no. Shovelware is this collection of horrible like third party games that were like look like they they have two lines of code in them. So they were bad. Yes, horrible. Almost like they were made by a little kid. Yes, horrible. That sounds fair. <laughs> Shall we move on? Yes. All right. Number five, a little staggering from all the basic stuff we've been doing. Black holes. Yes. Black holes. This is a very interesting birdie topic. Mm. That was uh, black holes. What? What are your thoughts on black holes? Um. Well, like. Well, of course, a black hole is just one of the many ways, uh, one of the many results of a star meeting its end. I mean, you got that, you got a supernova, and it's like, but... Star got, got Mortal Kombated out of existence, and you're left with a black hole. Black holes are that. black holes are destructive as hell. Because, yeah. Think about it. 
they will take everything that's around them, even light, and and pull it in. And it won't stop until the black hole is just done with. So, and it's like... Worse than me, going after the fridge. <laughs> At least I don't take the light from it. Jeez. But, I mean... You, we humans, we as humans have never... We don't have the technology to go to a black hole, throw, like, a, a drone in there and see what's exactly going on inside of one. I mean, they're so destructive that it gives us the impossibility of doing that. That's great. I, I actually like that. Alright, so... My thoughts. Unless you still want to talk. I No, go ahead. I mean, I still have other thoughts about black holes, but I can wait until you're done. Okay. I think they're pretty interesting. You know, people are like, oh, what's on the other side? Probably nothing. I mean, if it's so much nothing that it's pulling in something, well, that's that's quite a bit of nothing right there. <laughs> and those are my thoughts on black holes. Like, well, black holes are like they. I, there, I read a thing saying it's like black holes are so powerful that if a human was near them, the human would basically turn not like literally transform, but like spaghetti. Turn, yeah, turn it's turn into spaghetti. I was kidding. No, that's serious. Black holes are so strong they could it's a serious issue. <laughs> They're just so powerful that they could do that. That's to, a lot of power. To the human body. They could run for president. <laughs> but, I mean, like, you don't have it so that you can put a person in there. They would die. Yeah, they, they kind of do that. They'd be obliterated upon reaching the black hole and going into it. Yeah, humans kind of do that. <laughs> it's not fun. I mean, we don't have technology strong enough to see what's on the other side of a black hole. And it's All like... Alright, look at nothing. I mean... Think... it. It's like... There's many theories... There's a... Th here's a... Th it's like, you could have it so that... A, a theory that a black hole is just basically a destructive... Like... As, like... Yeah. It's nothingness. Think about something. garbage disposal. Or oh yeah, my favorite analogy: garbage disposal. Or like some like a trash compactor. Some something like that. Everything that goes into it will not will just turn into like just shreds of stuff. Well, that's that's how much force they have. It's it's, it's amazing. It's the gravity is uh, the whole gravitational pull of uh, of them is just so much more dominant than anything in the universe. Yeah, it's like TikTokers. <laughs> once there's once there's one of them, there suddenly becomes a bunch of them, and if they get near each other, they just absorb into each other and become bigger. <laughs> bigger TikTokers. But then there's and there's the thing. It's like, could a black hole be a portal to another reality beyond our own? Possibly, but there's so much nothing there that it, if it's trying to pull in something, there's probably not much on the other side. But but th but think about it. If I I did, <laughs> did I'm done. I'm done now. But couldn't. You don't know what's on the other side since they're so destructive. We don't know if that what happens is is if they destroy stuff on one side, like think about like this like a portal. Like that you have both sides of the portal. We'll put we'll have realm A, which is of course our our reality, and we have realm two, which would the be the land of the insects. <laughs> yes! Wait, no, no, yes. no, forget I yes. said anything. Yes, yes, 
That's where no. Yes, mutants insects live on realm two. But I'm not gonna get into that right now. Keep on inadvertently fueling his theories. Okay. What think about it? You have we're on realm A. Uh, well, realm one. And if like let's say we put a human next to the black hole. What if yeah. that human gets destroyed in realm one, but then rematerial rematerializes as the same copy in realm two? Perfectly well, normal. That's teleportation. Perfectly fine. That's teleportation right there. Th but we don't know if that's what happens because we don't like they're so destructive that we wouldn't have the ability to put, like, if even if it was a portal, we don't know how long it takes to get to the other, to Realm 2. Or if we yeah. could even get back to Realm 1 at that time. So, hmm. there's that theory, which I think is very possible. And it's also a thing that we could do if the world was overrun by giant insects. Jacob, no. Not right now. We could put the insects in the gates of the black hole and have them get sucked through and pfft, out the backside like confetti. Okay. Yes. That's how it would work. Uh, Possibly. All right. Possibly. If that's what you think, then if I won't the world, that. If the world was overrun by giant insects, that would be the logic, one of the most logical things to do. That anyway, guy, do. Anyways, guys, moving on to topic number six, so we can get away from the insect thing. Keeps on just invading the other, the other topics, yes. and then we have to move. Yes, as he keeps on invading the other topics, just like insects would do. Jacob, no! Yes! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, topic number six is interesting. We got our brains. That's what we're going to be talking about. Our brains. Mmm, brains. Um... <laughs> Got anything okay. to say about brains? Well, I'm trying to use mine right now. Um, <laughs> so, brains, they're interesting enough. I mean, when you boil it down, it's literally just a really big transistor. Um, really big set of transistors. Um, it's like the power company of the human body. Well, technically. So, um, Jacob, do you know what a transistor is? It's a brain. The neural network. The brain is a neural network. And if the brain stops, we stop. Yeah, that's that's how brains work. Yeah. I mean, you, you're not... That's, that's the thing. That's the thing. It's weird. I, I watch... I watched a video about this. Humans, well, now, aren't actually considered dead until the brain has stopped working. Hmm. Because... What if it comes back? N no, once your brain is dead, it can't come back. You can't regain brain cells. Yeah, brain, yeah, you can. You can't regain brain percentages. Oh my god, you just hit me with an old one. <laughs> brain percentages, huh? I haven't heard that in a long time. <laughs> I'm doing something in the background and that really caught me off guard. <laughs> yeah, you brain can... percentages, yeah. Yeah, you can't regain brain percentages. You... Like, once it's at zero brain percentages, 
you're gone. You're dead. That's what happens. So, how did it feel? Percentages are a commodity in today's world. <laughs> yeah, there's very low amounts of them. Mm, especially nowadays. Yeah, no, especially now. But, I mean, it's... The brain is one of the most... peculiar things to actually think about. Because if you look at the brain, it doesn't look like much. I mean, it's just a... So you uh, think about it. That's what controls everything you do. Yes. It, it's that's like... Why this that's pink mass that thing is of... why you want to go take a bath right now. I don't want to take a bath. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Face it, face it, Jacob. No, I don't. Then what do you want, Jacob? I want to talk about brains. I thought you were going to say insects. But well, anyway. yeah. You got to bring up insects. That's an entirely different thing. Insects, yeah. insects. What they have is something completely different. Yeah, they have they, a brain. They have a brain, but what they have a hive pea mind. Brain. They have a hive mind. They have a pea brain. Yes, they have. They're made of peas. Okay. <laughs> but. Insects compared to humans, they don't have an individual conscious consciousness. Yeah. They have a hive mind means they basically they have they share a singular brain. Basically. So I mean you got the human got millions you got the you got hum how many humans are there on the planet on the planet right now? Seven to eight billion. Seven to eight billion. Okay, you got you got that many people on the planet. Okay, you take seven to eight billion individual brains and you put them against one giant hive mind brain. Um, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> Probably the hive mind because there there are bound to be communication faults in the kill kill chain and the uh, in a human. Human brain. Like, yeah, because it's like, hive minds, it's like, you, they don't, like, you don't have an individual emotion. You don't have emotions that are individual to you. You have emotions that are in, that are common throughout like, the entire community. It, yeah, it's like chess, Um, actually. Every single piece is a part of you, instead of all of them being their own thing. Like, I mean, there's so many, there's so many aliens in movies that are considered to have a hive mind, and it's, it's true because they follow a singular goal based off the orders of a higher class. Yeah, like seventh grade. <laughs> Ignore me. You're, you're not wrong there. You're not wrong in any ways. Well, you know, seventh graders come up with most of the. It's it's a known fact that there is at least one vending machine per per alien on Star Trek. Wait, what are we talking Star about again? Star Trek. We're talking about brains. Well, you're talking about oh. seventh graders for some reason. Don't worry about me. I'm 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 doing okay, guys. <laughs> He's doing okay. Okay. He's doing all right. I gotta do the Macarena. Calm down. <laughs> but think about it. The brain does everything for us. It does absolutely everything. And we do everything for the brain. I mean, we, we, you can bend your finger. That's your brain going through your. That's a signal going through from your brain down to your arm. And it travels all the way to your hand, to your finger, to bend it. You know, it all... 
And that's well, just it tells the potassium to fire the muscle to do that. Wait, and it, you're, it, what it, you're seeing, what you're seeing is your eye taking the signal of the photon photonic change and going to your brain and saying, "Hey, your finger moved." And also the touch sensors in your fingers going to your brain and saying, "Hey, it moved." It's very complicated for a simple action. Yes, it, it's very com. It's a, it's because, and the whole thing about how the like how we can speak is interesting too, because the brain Just moving their mouth all over the place. Yes, the and when we can understand it, because of ears, like, and it, the, it's the sounds going from our ears to our brain, and it's and our brain is processing all of this, and it's saying okay. Um, these, like, this squiggle is a B. This is a A. And you're saying, can I have a piece of toast or some? It's. I it, hate toast. <laughs> you cut out there for a second. <laughs> oh my. Hello? Hello? Did I break Jacob again? Hello? Yeah, I'm back. Oh, okay. no, you're back. Okay. <laughs> well, but just just think about it. Our brain is by is the brain is by far one of the most complex complex things in nature. It is. Yeah. Like it it just it controls everything. It sends signals everywhere. It knows like it stores things it learns and it's like it's we it's interesting how we have this one just muscle I mean, no well, or organ controlling our entire bodies through, yeah, a, through a network it's pretty cool. It's fascinating. That's what it is. It's interesting. It, I mean, it's a brain. I mean, it doesn't look like much, but it does so many wonders. I, I agree. Yeah. It's the brain. It can't moving. have... We moving on now? Yeah, sure. Oh no. Yes. Oh no. Yes. No. Yes. No, I just read the next one. <laughs> no. Yes, I put this in there to be evil. The insect apocalypse is topic number seven. Jacob, yes. take it away. Yes. Okay. I put the I made this topic. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit back and let you rant on and on. This this is gonna Im Im improve our watch hours by like seven hours. Oh, okay. Where do I begin now? If I put this in today's episode to be cruel exponentially, to me. yes, yes, <laughs> so you admit it. And the, what you called me earlier, you Basically. really deserve this. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you get you're getting what you deserve. Get a taste of your own medicine, man. Okay. You know, my medicine, I take my own meds, all right? Yeah, I do too. So What is it? Your rainbow pills? We're talking about insect apocalypse, not rainbow pills. Well, do they help calm you down? I'm not screaming. About the insect apocalypse. Nothing can calm anyone down during the insect apocalypse. Think about it. Just go on. Just go. On. Insects. Think of, they outnumber humans so massively. Their numbers are far more superior than that. Of the human population, they are the highest rank. They are the highest 
animal, they're, well, not highest animal, but I mean, like, they do act pretty high sometimes. Yes, yes, they do act high, but the highest ranking in animal in terms of population. So, think about it, if... Well, in terms of intelligence, those guys can screw right off. <laughs> But that doesn't mean that they wouldn't out they wouldn't overpower humans based off primal instinct. Cause think about it, insects would run off instinct and they would run off all the communications they would have from I everything. Hope they, run off they wouldn't run off cliffs. Think about it, it's like you had insects were huge back then. Now they're small. If they get huge again, insect apocalypse. Humans are severely outnumbered. Sound so much like Alex Jones, right? What? Keep going. No, no, don't mind me. <laughs> well, it's you. Insects like they were big. Now they're small. They're gonna get big again at some point. Yeah, it's like K-pop. <laughs> and it's. It, and it's just, they're going to outnumber humans so greatly that may, we won't be able to do much. He, the human population would greatly decline if insects were massive. Like, Jacob, I think, I think I should start believing you. Because I, I had to not only use the jolt I used to kill spiders, but also my full auto 150 FPS strife to kill a giant mosquito I found the other day that was about three inches wide. <laughs> I mean, it, then it's like, I go outside today, and I mean, I definitely got some rage out on insects today. Because... They, I just shoot them. No, I, I took a shovel to, my, to insects today. What? Uh, because there, there was a spot in my backyard where there was like Japanese beetles crawling out of the ground, and they're flying everywhere. And it's like, um, I did you market garden them? No. Did you play TF two? I grabbed the shovel, and I and I murdered so many bugs. And I, How do you, what do you think your body count is? Body count for today? Probably... I don't know, 20? That's just for today. Yeah, it's just for today. Jacob's way more than a serial killer of Japanese beetles. He's <laughs> got some prejudice on him. I mean, I, I took that shovel and I bashed so many into the ground. And I flattened them, and I, I took this. I took the sharp end of the shovel. I tried to cut them in half. I tried. Why? Because I had so much anger towards the bugs because they were everywhere, <sighs> and I didn't want the insect apocalypse to happen already. So, I mean, Jacob, the I, one human saving humanity from. Insect apocalypse. Listen to his. Listen to his. His completely, completely sane <laughs> and and believable. Whatever you like to call it. <laughs> I call it mad ravings myself. If you won't. If no, no. I mean, it's effective. What I mean, is... killing bugs with Hold a on. shovel? With a sharp shovel? It was. Very effective. Hello? Sorry about that. I just had to kill a really big bug. I'm still not buying into your theory. What? My insect apocalypse theory? Yeah. Why are you not buying into it? Because I just had to kill a really small bug. 
That bug may look small now. 18 years in the future? No, not 18 years. Like, let's, let's just give bugs 100 years. If, Evolution takes way longer than that, Jacob. We know this. Yes, we do know this. But if insects grow bigger, my theory is right. If insects grow the th bigger, my theory is correct. Humans are growing tolerant. Why are you the only one that doesn't believe my theory? Because evolution. I've told this theory to... I've got a giant bird on me, and even if it does happen, he'll just eat them. He'll beat them and eat them. Okay. I can name three people right now who believe my theory. Who are they? Name them. My mom. Oh, that's a, definitely a great source. My dad. <laughs> and your dog? No, not my dog. My girlfriend. Jesus Christ. That's right. Tell me I... why she believes it, of all people. Why, why her? It's a theory. I can disprove your theory. You can disprove the insect apocalypse theory. Yeah, modern cicada is just going to the ground. For 17, I mean, for like, yeah, yeah, 17, wait, no, is it 17? Is it 17? It, is this? Yeah, 17 years. Insects, uh, cicadas go into the ground for 17 years during those stages of their child, like their lar their baby stages. Then That's more than enough time to prepare a nuke. We're good. No! Th but think about it. Tw like, cicadas that are like five feet long going yeah. on the ground? Yeah. That just... Think about how much damage that would cause. Yeah, about 50 quid. Like, it's... You do know, you do know, cicadas cannot damage us. But what if so they e just... what if they evolve so they could? Um, you know, I could just build a flamen morpher. The only thing that would work, no, the ultimate insect that we could not kill with a nuke would would be a cockroach. Since their evolutionary genet their makeup has proven that they can survive with their heads being cut off, they can survive with them being squashed by a boot, they can survive they radioactivity, they can survive nuclear blasts. Can they survive can they survive a flamethrower? I don't know if they could probably not. I mean that that'd be like the best thing for humans to at you least know, have a fighting. Jacob, I'm the best I'm the best equipped for this, even if I don't believe it happens. I'm good. But think about you in you the that would be the only weapon that in very, very sharp blades. Yeah, would, I have a couple of those. Would be the only weapons efficient enough to kill insects well to kill giant insects well okay even if the insect was like 50 feet tall attack on titan okay jacob cut its legs <laughs> cut its legs i'm not <laughs> cut its legs we got the we got the tree chopping chopping, chopping machines but we could do it <laughs> Let's, but think about it. If, like, if you're, I mean, not saying that bugs would be 50 feet tall, but I mean, if they were, we wouldn't have enough technology to chop down all of their legs. And plus, what about the ones that fly? That's even worse. Oh, we could just repurpose the old Flak 88s from World War II. Okay, okay. He here's a scenario right here. Here is 
a scenario right here. Let's say the insect apocalypse, what did happen, and it's in it, like, let's say this scenario is three years later, okay, from the insect apocalypse, nothing has slowed them down, few humans have survived, let's just say, like, you're, you're outside scavenging for food, Milk. okay? Milk on the ground. <laughs> Spilled olive oil. <laughs> But let's just say you were scavenging for food, and Fish then, egg. and then, let like, let's say, what's a good flint? Let's just say a hornet. Like, I'm just gonna pick a hornet for example. A hornet that's, let's say, twelve feet long, and stand in on the ground. It's about five feet tall. Okay. Okay. Let's just say. You're scavenging for food and you didn't see it. It grabbed you and it lifted you up in the air. What would you do? I curb stomp its ass because I'm over six feet now. What What if you couldn't curb stomp? In three stomp? years, I will be over six feet. What if you couldn't curb stomp his ass? I take up my, my pocket flamethrower. I know how to make those too. But... <laughs> You also got that stinger to worry about. Yeah, I'll be on wearing... a giant hornet, because I'll, be, I'll because, be wearing plate armor. Because you got plate think armor. about it. plate armor. If that Boom. stinger were to go, like if the hornet decided to attack you with its stinger, it would poke. It would burst a hole in you. It would the stinger would go right through you. How long is it? Let's see. It's the hornet. Like I said the hornet would no, be the stinger. No, the, the stinger. No, just I the stinger. just give the hornet would be twelve feet long, five feet tall. So the in, the the stinger would probably be about one one and a half feet. No, it would be at least an inch. They're way smaller than. That. How would it? How would a hornet twelve feet long have a stinger the size? An inch long. Hypodermic needles. You know what? You know what? Let's go with your estimate. I'll just wear one foot thick foam armor. You'd still have to worry about the hornet's mandibles, even if you didn't worry Flame about thrower. <laughs> flamethrower, Jacob. Flamethrower. What if it didn't care about the flamethrower? And what if it didn't want to let you down? You just gonna. Give if it up didn't and... want to let me down, it'll pr it probably wouldn't turn around or or desert me. Probably not going to give me up. I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to rickroll you, and it's not working. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's... Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> flying insects! You said flying insects. Great. You, you, have, you have the foam armor on to protect you from the... The, from the stingers, which some of them do have, and pr probably you wouldn't get all that hurt. Okay? Yeah. What about an insect such as um, an ant? Let's just say you're thrower. let's say you were surrounded thrower. by like so easy flame ten thrower. ants, and they flame overwhelmed thrower. you. In three years, I'd be over six feet, so I could curb some ass. Just as normal. Is is that going to be your solution to every one of these insect apocalypse problems? I have three solutions. Okay. A, a flamethrower. B, foam armor. C, curb stomp its ass. <laughs> Spelt as this. What do you... It's, it's going to be a new word. Curb stomp its ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh well okay so those the flamethrower your best choice if you got armor durable armor very durable armor very good shot foam. what about um fleas let's say fleas grew like to the size of dogs i mean i mean fleas aren't that big anyways 
But let's just say, like, or mosquitoes. Let's just say they grew to the size of dogs. Uh huh. Um, they fleas can jump. How can yeah. you? How can you take out an enemy that jump like that jumps like twenty feet in the air? Ground spikes. And would true, true, very true. Ground spikes. Jacob, Jacob, I engineer stuff together. You think I wouldn't be good at this? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but it. Lama North for her ground spikes. You know what? I should just have wear cleats all the time, too. In an insect apocalypse, wearing cleats all the time would definitely be helpful. <laughs> no, like the ones in SpongeBob where they have actual steel spikes on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Those would be very effective. Leopard, come here. I have my bird here. You can use rollerblades to get away from bugs. Yeah, or, you could use skis if you're in Poland, World War Two, or just in any snowy area in general. Anyway, uh, I think that's good for tonight. We've talked about curb stomp potassium enough on bugs. Yeah, exactly. I think we. I think I've may. I may have proved my proven my point. I proved my point that even if it did happen, I would be unaffected. I'm badass. I would be also ineffective, and maybe even slightly more badass. You know why? Because you get a death car. That's right. You get a death car. Okay, Mister Nitrous Oxide. No, you get a car, and you fuse spikes onto it, like. Ram, huge ram the bugs. Hu yes, huge metals. Hole. Yes, huge spikes. So it'll be huge. Yeah, huge. It'd be huge. <laughs> It'd be huge. <laughs> well, I guess that's it for chatting hour. We've talked yes. about enough about giant, but many bugs. And, um, yes, and, and maybe um, next week I'll bags. talk about them more. Possibly. Hopefully not. <laughs> okay. Well, this was Chatting Hour. Hope you enjoyed this. Chatting Hour. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this, the fourth episode of Chatting Hour. Goodbye, everyone.